Hello, welcome to Brockwell Lane, and I have a new model to show you this week. This is from Ellis Clark, and this is the new Wickham Trolley in O Gauge. Well, this is the first release, this is out uh, only this week, and it's the only version available uh, currently. However, there's more to come, which will probably be available by the time you watch this, but uh, this is the first one that's uh, come out, and it's the uh, BR uh, Maroon one. Um, there is a one with a white roof as well coming later, which, to be honest, I was the one I wanted, but I couldn't resist getting this because uh, it came out a little bit sooner than I thought they would. So nice, stylish little box. Um, smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, very nicely presented. Um, so let's have a look inside. And uh, oh, we've got some little stickers. By the looks of it. Alice Clark trains stickers and uh, what's these? Wickham, where England? Got two of those. I should have had two of those. Or whether that's you all get them. Maybe they put one extra in. Good anyway. Uh, there's the instruction manual. Now you can actually. This is not DCC fitted, but you can actually fit them with an X18 decoder if you wish. Uh, and that's one of the versions that's to come out. That's a very nice one as well. Uh, it was £150 this was, which is not too bad, I mean, that's what you're going to pay nowadays, isn't it, really, for most things, uh, models, and there's a good instruction booklet there, looks like it comes with a few details there as well to put on, and that's how to fit the decoder and so on, and a little bit of reading on the uh, prototype there as well, I suppose you can pause that if you want to read that. Um, I'll read that later, it's quite interesting. I think it's quite interesting. So, we've got uh, uh, yeah, nice little booklet. So, let's look at the actual model. I think we're upside down. So, the phone packaging uh, there's some little holes in we can see through. This is actually a two part model. So, you've got a little trailer, and we've got the it's not a locomotive, is it? It's a uh, I think they were powered by Ford engines, these 10 horsepower. You've never seen these preserved railways, I think there's still quite a few around. And it's just a little motorised trolley. I believe you could get eight people in one of these. And uh, yeah, very. I was quite surprised it's, it's very small. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, but. Uh, Got two working lamps, one there and one on the back. Um, it's um, well, it's yeah, there's not much to it, so it's it's lightish, but it, yeah, I suppose it could have been lighter. There's some very nice uh, wooden benches in there, um, and you can see some controls there, and I think that's where the engine goes there. But I believe the next eighteen decoder will go under there. Uh, so, quite a cute little thing. I think these bars are what uh, the crew would use to lift it on and off the tracks. And in fact, I'm thinking of making a little uh, side track, uh, if not a shed, to keep this on Brocco Lane. Not sure what that is in the middle. Is it a bumper of some sort? And uh, just say. British Railways on there, but I bet they won't focus. And this is B14W. And it does have glazing in the either end as well. So, shall we have a look at the little trailer? Um, and, oh, it's actually metal, this. Wasn't expecting it to be metal, and this is quite heavy, actually. Get off. Yeah, okay, yeah. Here we go. So, yeah, very stylish wheels. These are solid metal style, like the real ones. Some sort of brake lever on there. And you can see, oops, if I can try to drop it. Uh, there's a little connector there. And that just slots in, clicks in place, I believe. Um, yes, yeah, so this is quite weighty, actually. Um, metal sides on it. And I think that's metal as well. Very nice little thing. We'll see if it runs on Brockwell Lane now. Just before that though, 
We'll have a look at the detail pack as well. So, what have we got here? Don't know. I think there's curtains and... I'm going to have to look at the instructions to figure out what they are and way, where they go. But I know there's some curtains for the sides. A rolled up arrow. So we'll have a look at fitting those later. Well, here she comes under the bridge. We're running away because there's no driver in it. I have got a driver to put in it. But that is, dry, uh, is uh, very controllable. It's slow. It's quiet enough. And it's got little lights on each end. What's not to like? It's going to look a lot better with a little maintenance crew in there. And I'm quite surprised it doesn't seem to stop on points. It'll go quite slow. This is of course on DC. Using my uh, little gauge master. And there it is with a little trolley on the back. Just clips in. Um, it might look a bit flimsy, the, uh, the little coupling, but it's, it's metal actually, so it's not too bad at all. disappears behind the cattle dock. But yeah, I'm going to have some fun um, weathering and detailing this up a little bit. Uh, put some, I don't know, I've not decided yet, but some tools and things in the back of that little trolley. I'm very happy with that. Can't fault it. And what you can also do is buy extra uh, little trolleys, and there is a little hole in the back there to couple more on if you wanted to do that, although how many of these are put, put I don't know. I can't imagine them pulling that many. Um, but you never know. And to be honest, it'd probably pull, I don't know, two or three if it had to. I think it's probably powerful enough. So where am I, where am I going to keep this on this line? Well, I'm thinking of building a little either shed or um, a little parking place for it, oh, probably around here somewhere, so I might have to dig away here but, uh, and if I put a shed on it, you won't be able to see it from this angle, but I'll think of something um, but I think that's a nice little addition to the layout so I can recommend them I mean obviously they are a little bit delicate in places so I wouldn't I thought that they're not that bad actually but of course you need to take care of these things anyway, as I'm sure you would do anyway So there you go, little review, um, nice little model. Uh, so I'll see you next time on Brockhall Lane. Please like, subscribe and bye bye for now. Bye.